there is a method on how we can know which day will expand and on which day we should be taking trades. That is when you use the economic calendar as your roadmap. So using news drivers as your roadmap. I will go over exactly how I use it and how I know which day of the week I want to get involved, which day will likely be in consolidation and which day will likely have highest probability of expanding higher or going lower. So using the news or the economic calendar as your roadmap, that is what very often gets said. But again, this is so vague. What do you actually mean? What does that mean? Let me give you the definition first and afterwards I'll explain it in depth using the economic calendar as your roadmap is when the economic calendar and price action itself are in agreement that is exactly when you want to be trading price action being in agreement with the economic calendar meaning if we are hovering above a discount array for example and on that day that we are hovering above a discount array and we have news so we have an economic calendar news driver for that particular day that is exactly when the economic calendar and news are in agreement that is when you want to be trading so let me explain that here we are on gold let me give you some context here on gold this is exactly what we went over as well in the free weekly forecast we had this pair value gap that daily value gap to work with right there we were targeting all that liquidity, but the main target was this daily fair value gap. But I want you to focus on this fair value gap right there. Now in the weekly forecast, I mentioned that I would like to see this daily fair value gap hold and push price higher. And now you can see why I didn't expect a huge retracement to an overlapping PDRA based on the previous episode where we touched on close to the drawn liquidity I would not want to see a huge retracement because that would be the exact opposite of what I would want to see. If price wants to continue higher right there, it will do it fast off of that fair value gap. How can we know on which day it wants to expand higher off of that fair value gap? Will it expand higher on any day, on any particular day? No, it will expand on the day where we have a news driver supporting the idea of expanding higher. So, of course, since we're trading gold, what is a news driver that supports the idea of expanding higher? You want to be focusing on the USD, so the US dollar news drivers for gold. Now, why do we actually use these news drivers? What is a news driver? What happens on a news driver? News drivers bring in volatility in the market, especially high impact ones. They bring in a lot of volatility for that particular market. In order for us to trade in the first place, what we need is volatility in the market that is the whole reason why we use kill zones and that is the whole reason why we now are going to be using news drivers in order for us to trade in order for there to be an opportunity to trade we need volatility always if there's no volatility you will see price action like this consolidations rangy price action so i would argue that kill zones are very volatile for a certain session so kill zones when you want a lot of volatility for your scalping trades so maybe your one minute trades etc focus on kill zones with close targets short duration of time that is when you focus on kill zones mainly but if you want to focus and again this can also be beneficial for you as a scalper when you want to focus on will the day itself actually move and will the day expand you want to be focusing on the economic calendar if we have usd news usd empire state manufacturing index for example then all the usd instruments that are related to the us dollar so that can also be your futures es nasdaq ym gold silver EU, GU, all the major forex pairs, those are the ones that will be very volatile on that particular day. Now, there's an exception to this rule and you need to listen to this because it's very important and don't blame me if you mess up. Because if you are trading ahead or during the following three events, that is FOMC, NFP and CPI, you don't want to execute on that day ahead of the news event itself and you don't want to execute on the news event itself. Five minutes after the release, whenever a setup presents itself, that is perfectly fine. Only if it's after the news release itself. Otherwise, you might get slipped, and that is not trading, that is gambling. Because think about it. When you are trading CPI, NFP, 
and FOMC and you're trading either just before it or the news event itself, what happens? You are at major risk of getting your account slipped. Slippage is when your SL gets taken and you don't get filled at the right spot and you get filled way lower or way higher. And brokers are allowed to do this during these news events. So you don't get taken out at the right spot and you can get slipped like absolute crazy you can lose a lot of percentage you can even lose your whole account or even your funded account when that happens you are risking your whole account to make only three percent four percent so the risk to reward is not in your favor the odds are not in your favor because you need to have a hundred percent win rate in order for you to then be profitable and no one ever has a hundred percent win rate nobody so sooner or later you will mess up Again, I'm talking about CPI, NFP, FOMC. Those are the ones you want to watch out for and only trade after the news release itself. But for the rest of the high impact news events, PMI, PPI, retail sales, unemployment claims, whatever it is, it is perfectly fine to trade before the news release, during the news release or after the news release. Because these news events is when the day itself will already be more volatile the news is likely already priced in you don't think the banks the institutions don't already know what is going to happen news is just going to expand on what already was destined to happen it's all a smoke screen they can make the market very volatile and they have an excuse they have an alibi to move price so if we take a look again at gold right here this day this friday came into that daily for value gap now would you expect that friday to already expand higher not really because obviously that is the opposite end of the week so based on the weekly profiles we would not expect friday to continue a trend we would rather prefer a thank god is friday setup like we talked about in the weekly profiles now on monday monday makes the low of this week right here stinging into that daily for value gap why reason being because Monday already had high impact US dollar news right here. And you can see Tuesday is a huge expansion as well. Why? US dollar news again. So here you can see price action. What was it doing? We were hovering above a daily discount rate in the form of that fair value gap right there. On which day did we sting into it? On Monday. Did Monday have the volatility? Yes, there was volatility on monday can monday here make the low of the week yes it can because it has the volatility to do it and then tuesday expands even higher so right there that is when you do want to trade a monday so here ask yourself economic calendar and price action in agreement trade it that is when you want to look for your trades a lot of people think day trading means every day trading no day trading means knowing exactly the days that you want to trade and when you want to get involved. That is extremely crucial. If you can know that you are ahead of 99% of the traders, you can already filter out the days where you know this is the highest probability. And that is the day where we can actually explode higher or lower. That is not done by our kill zones again. That is done by the economic calendar, knowing the economic calendar. So here we are on EU. And just to give you a little bit of context here on the daily, we came into that fair value gap right there that is what we had as a target and we had a huge sting into it now we also have this fair value gap to work with right there it's the exact same week the same economic calendar so we had news on monday and on tuesday for the us dollar now since it's eu euro we also take a look at if euro has some economic news drivers and that is an extra confluence that we can use so if we dive into the 15 minute right here we can see that this consolidation happens. So I just told you Monday will likely be volatile. Yes, but still price action needs to be in agreement first, right? When economic calendar and price action is in agreement, that is when we can move and we know which day wants to move. So right here on Monday, we come into that daily fair value gap. And only once we come into that daily fair value gap, that is exactly when we have the cleanest, the highest probability moves on these days. The days that I'm talking about where price action and the economic calendar are in agreement, that is when you will have the absolute most beautiful price action. For example, if we now move on to Tuesday, Tuesday right here, did we have news? Yes, we have news. Do we have price action in agreement? Yes, because we reached that target. So we go into the 15 minute 
and look at what price action potentially wants to do and what happens we sting into it right there a very volatile day clean moves with a clear target right there and what does it create it creates the high of the week the economic calendar is giving you a roadmap exactly to how you can potentially know already ahead of the week even starting where the high of the week and where the low of the week will be and which days you want to be trading here we are on es and i just wanted to show you an example of exactly what i mean on days that you want to avoid right there we are coming into a daily fair value gap we were expecting higher prices off of this fair value gap right there it is also a weekly fair value gap and when we zoom in here on the 15 minute time frame we can see that we already came into it on monday right there and monday failed to push higher why monday didn't have the economic calendar agreeing to the id so believe me you can see it as the intention is there price wants to move higher there's no doubt price 100 percent wants to move higher the intention is there it just doesn't have the energy to do it there's no volatility to do it it needs energy aka volatility to do it where's the energy for that week where's the volatility coming into the market for that particular week tuesday tuesday had the economic calendar on its side that is exactly when you can avoid this price action right there and that is exactly how we managed to avoid that price action now you can avoid getting stuck in price action like this where we don't actually expand higher and follow through and instead we can focus on days like this where we have a beautiful expansion and not only that you now can get to a pair and an instrument you can trade if you can look at the economic calendar and you see there's canadian dollar news for example then where will the moves likely happen on pairs and instruments that are closely related to the canadian dollar so for example usd canadian dollar or canadian dollar jpy because you know that pair is the pair that wants to move this week and like we mentioned this is also a factor on how we can know if we will reach just for a fair value gap or an overlapping pdra using the economic calendar so if you haven't watched that video just yet then here you can watch it perfect thank you